Sorry. Sorry, guys. Click the sound button again. Still getting it used to this new phone. And yeah. Just getting the thumbnail. Bloody phone. Stop going to the desktop. So, yeah. That'll be the thumbnail. When my bloody editor fixes itself. Or I'm getting a new... Well, not a brand new computer. But a... Um, New Windows 7 one, because this one is a bag of shit, but the desktop's pretty cool there, as you can see. But the computer itself is a bag of shit. It may not look it, but it is. Because, yeah, it's broken and it's slow as hell, and it never used to be. So, yeah, that's why I've really been uploading recently. And I've been uploading, honestly, ones, especially uh, Ill so-called illegal buses, which I like. Ah, I like to preserve them. <coughs> yeah, I know. Let that peeve you off. Hey, yeah, who else has been disliking it? Go ahead. I couldn't give a shit. I just find it funny that you won't reply. To all them spam bots out there, get alive. I watch what shall we do next, and I know all about you, hence why I block you most of the time. So, yeah. Pretty neat little model. Claxton Premier, not too sure what mark. I know it's a Volvo V10. Oh, what's I forgot to mention? It's got some fog lights as well. Which R4 and 5 used to have. I'm going to pop them back on R4, so I'll have to go happy days again. And yeah, I'm not going to pop them on R5 because it never had them at Baker's, but R4 did. So I thought I'd change up R4 a bit. Still keep it as Baker's, but yeah, just had the fog lights on because it did have them originally at Baker's. And apparently they broke and didn't replace them and just put the, the corner bumpers over the panel. A bit like this, guys. And as you can see, this one's been filled in. So that's the original bumper where the fog light used to be, but that one ain't because it's got a little mark in. And that one's been filled in. So yeah. Oh yeah, M521 day now either. None of the Baker's Premiers or Primers have them, including my two. Which, this one now has a cracked windscreen when we try to get that off. <clears throat> R5's has now been replaced, as you would have seen when I do upload the video, which will be before this, obviously. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for me on this model, and I've been rambling on. So yeah, peace out guys. Yeah, this is a little zoom out there. Peace out, guys. Hey, guys, what's up? The Brush Channel here, and today, I know my intro is a little bit different on this one, but today, they're going to be doing a review of another premiere straight after the video I've just done. And this one is not a code free. You guys can buy this one. Obviously, I don't do the code free, which I forget to mention in my last video. But this one. It's of the one and only T3ONH. X National Holiday though, but this one's in the National Holidays livery. Did they forget to add some marker lights? Not marker lights, fog lights there. I think they did. I'm not too sure. And as some of you guys may know, as of 22nd of May 2020, National Holidays went bye bye to the shitty coronavirus and Boris Johnson. They didn't have enough money to keep the business running. Same goes for shearings and Caledonian travel, which is unfortunate. But I might still try and take R4 and 5 up to their depot. But, yeah. Or at least next to it. And I know they were based in Hull, which is pretty cool. Little's travel still exists, and obviously Baker's coaches exist. And now they're selling KB06 on eBay for 14000 Obviously, I'm not going to buy it because I can't afford it. Even though I do like that coach and I've been on it. So, yeah. This is, funny enough, this one is actually one of our four and five sisters. Which is what I say, long lost sister. T3 ONH. Which I've got a feeling I checked it up on Direct Golf. It has been, it don't even come up anymore. So, yeah, I don't know if it's had a registration plate change, but it hasn't been photographed. Last time it was photographed, it was on Flickr, 
and it was Fearless Travel, which I've done a SketchUp model of, and I will do one of this one. Well, I should say a SketchUp drawing, because I don't 3D print them, because I ain't got one. It's only a 2D model, anyways. I'm going to make a video on that when my bloody editor fixes itself, and don't go as slow as shit. Or, I get a new computer, which is probably what I'm going to do. Well, only a Windows 7, a low-end one. I would use this one down there, but it can't cope with Windows 10 on it, stupid me, put Windows shitty 10 on it. But I'm sticking with Windows 7 for the rest of my life, even though it's out of support. Because that's the best Microsoft out there, other than XP. I'd choose Windows Vista over Windows 10. Anyways, that's a totally different story, let's get into T3 already. Well, I can't get into it because the door's locked long. Oh um, yeah, so... Is the front of T3 O&H. Obviously, this is the old National Holidays livery. Um, so, yeah, obviously, there's the number plate. I'm missing the fog lights. I'm not too sure if it did have fog lights. Pretty sure it did at holidays. Gold and plaques and badge. National Holidays. Um, what's this say? Two and... Four and away the best... Value exclamation mark, so like that. That says, as you can see, got some windscreen wipers and mirrors, and obviously the marker lights. So, yeah, moving on to the side. If you guys know the whereabouts of this coach in real life, please do let me know because one of is part of the R4 and 5 family. <coughs> And if you do see jump cuts in this video, it's because I accidentally clicked, clicked the sound button on this phone because I ain't got a case for it yet. And yes, it is the iPhone 11, hence why I keep on accidentally going off the screen. I'm used to the 7, which I still take down to the yard for now because I ain't got a case for this, as I mentioned. And so, yeah, here's the size. Here's the door. And T3 h is one year newer than R5. It's nineteen ninety nine. There's also an S3 O and H which they're not a model for. And I found the code free of R4, put it as R4 DNH in the description for some reason. But this was ages ago, I think it was last year now. And I didn't win it because some arsehole outbidded me. Bollocks. <laughs> so yeah. Ah, that's a side engine, you can tell because the vents. Don't have any screen wash or Anti-freeze logo. Don't even know if it had a bit of holidays. This is obviously T3, not R4 or 5. Um, National Holidays, old logo. Well, they're both old now, because as I said at the beginning of the video, shitty coronavirus. Yeah, put them out of business, unfortunately. They owned not just Coachfish, but hotels as well. And they're part of a company or something. Don't know which one it was. Might clean the text. Don't know. So yeah, T3 ONH again. And if you wonder what ONH, well not O, but the NH stands for is National Holidays. I'm not too sure why Baker's left them, R4 and 5 as ONH and not changed them to MTB. Not too sure on that one, on that one might ask them. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Might be uh, the only ONH left on the number plate. Well, it might be the own, only holidays O and H has left in the world. Or that aunt in the scrapyard, like this one, I think is, unfortunately. I like this one. Um, yeah, if it just focuses in. Come on, you Benish horde. Focus in! I thought you were a good camera, man. <laughs> it is a good camera. Um, I've got a feeling that says Plaxton, not too sure. I know that definitely says Volvo, National Holidays logo, and this one, <laughs> they've been very lazy on this. Well, not lazy, but you get one, you know, there's a mark there, interesting. Don't know where that's supposed to be there, but it is, I don't care. <laughs> Funny enough, you see the indicator where it's supposed to be? I don't think it's supposed to have that, I think it's just supposed to like have these two red ones showing, and obviously... Cool, you've been a bit lazy and just 
not painted them in and just used a normal Premier casting. <laughs> Which is fair enough, has a bit more character to the moral. Uh, for and away the best value or something like that, it says on the back window. Rear marker lights, not too sure that, what that is. Um, here is the roof. Not much to see on there, just the air conditioning mm -hmm. unit. And R4 and 5's roofs aren't a clean, as clean as that. I think R5 is a worse look, it's been sat for a year at the baker's yard and now at my yard for a couple of months now. Have they missed some out? Have they missed out the door on this one? Did it never have one? I might search up an image. Right then guys, I know Sorry guys, messed up again. <laughs> so funny enough, this should have a middle door somewhere around there. Or a rear emergency exit door. Oh, they ain't colour that in either. Because on this image, shout out to the person who did this image. Look, see, it's got a rear exit door. Whereas my two have the middle one, which don't work. And obviously it's on a different reg, could they changed it? Oh, it did have fog lights. Oh, Corgi. <laughs> Who cares? I'm not a proper reviewer. Oh, why the fuck are there watches? <laughs> and an ice photo on rate driver, even though there's nothing on there when I click on it. Yeah, back into the model now. I was just curious. Um, yeah, still a pretty good detailed model. Fire exit with no black to fill in the door handle. Pretty cool. Hang on, it's got no marker lights on the side. What the hell? <laughs> oh well. Uh, it's got posable wheels, I think. Yeah, posable wheels. Pretty cool. So, yeah, 10 out of 10 from me, because I don't really give them reviews, but just show them off, as I said. 10 out of 10. So, yeah, I'm just doing these because I'm bored. So, thank you for watching, guys, and peace out, boy. Hey, guys, what's up? The bus trial here, and today we're going to be... Hang on, just move my tape on the back so you can see me. So, today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Starting off with this first. And yes, this is recording on my new phone. My new phone 11, which you'll see an unboxing of on my second channel. Random things. And I only got this phone just because the picture quality is better than my 7. I mean, that... That is good in itself, but yeah, this one's a bit better. I'm not going to take it down to the yard on Saturday because I ain't got a case for it yet. But when I got a case, I'll start using it. So first of all, here we have a introduction to, leaf to the Boris bus, aka new remaster. So yeah, here's the front. And here's the back. What will the conductor do? Fuck all, because he's not on there, I don't think. <laughs> Perhaps they were originally going to put him on there, but then they decided not to, because people can get on. Well, I used to could be able to get on through the back door for free, because the driver couldn't see him, but they've had to seal the door off or something. So, yeah, here's what it looks like inside the leaflet. There's front, if you will, or the back, I should say. And then there's the front. I don't think anyone's put this on YouTube yet. Perhaps this could be the only one, who knows? So we've gone to the final package. I have got another one coming, which is of a model, but just the body of a coach. Which seller said he would have been if he didn't pay on eBay. So, ah, fuck it, quick buy it. <laughs> I ain't got it because it's a code free. Um, how do you open this? Don't want to rip anything because it's a negative. Shit. Um. Ah. 
I haven't opened a negative in a while. I swear I have some bloody scissors up here. Oh, it's protected. Phew, it is protected, good. Um, there's some cows in here. No, throw that on the floor for now. What is this? It's actually in here. Is it? And it's not in that way, is it? Is it? I'm a fucking idiot. I found it, guys. Don't worry. There we go. Hehe. No others in there, no. Just this one, which is of A. It's of a National Holidays coach. You can't really see it, but I'll put the image of the eBay sellers up here. It was R414FW something, I think. You'll be able to see it up there when I edit it. So, yeah. I won't be sticking this up because the light will damage it, so I'll do this quick. Oh shit. Um, so yeah. Let's get this in there. Stop doing the light, you benachured. So thank you guys for watching and peace out. Stay. Thank you. Hi guys, what's up? The Bus Channel here, and today we're going to be unboxing a model. So, yeah, here it is, the box. Good job I got some scissors, weren't it? <laughs> There we go. Right then guys, back again. Hopefully now we got it. Ah bloody nail. Benichord phone. I can't wait to get a phone case for there. Stay. <laughs> right, I'll open this.
うわはい素敵さ上I'll just pack a drive open, yeah. <laughs> I'm not complaining about it, it's just hard. You're open. Even with scissors. <laughs> Some more. Finally. Oops. <laughs> Shout out to the seller for packing it so well. But Bloody open. Whoa. Right, I thought that's in the bubble wrap, isn't it? Yes, I love popping bubble wrap. So wrap that. Is that it? Yep. Oh, right then. It is actually metal. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like this. Basically, it's um only the body, but it, I thought this was bigger, but I'm happy with this. And it is metal. I thought it's plastic. Who cares? So here's the front, the side, the back. The other side, the roof and the bottom. Yes, it is only the body bit, as you guys know, I like collecting the broken ones. And here's the parts that I've got to glue back to it, so I don't know where some of them go, but I know where the front ones go. And he said he would have chucked it in the bin if he didn't list this on either. So yeah, it's been saved. So yeah, kind of surprising. And it is a code free, I may add. So yeah. Thumbnail peeps. Right again. Yeah, I do watch Lewis Tech. That's how I learnt the word Ben Shaw. I've got to get used to this phone. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace out. Hey guys, what's up? The bus trial here. And today, 
I'm going to be showing off one of my Code 3 models which I've done an unboxing off. Yes, there is a garbage lorry outside right now. So yeah, sorry for the noise and let's get into it. So here we have a Code 3 Plaxton Premier coach. As you can see, it's pretty cool. I'm doing one of these on board. <laughs> um, so yeah. Nice little code free. There was a photo on Flickr of it before I owned it. And it did have some stripes on this right here, which gives me an indication to what it used to be. I'll pop the picture of the Flickr up here and what it used to be over here. Lastly, it's been changed. So, for example, the front. Oh, yeah, hey, this actually focuses in better, this new phone. So, the front. The registration plate is P325 VWR, I think it's got a Volvo sign. Uh, and then it's got a Huddington and District or something. Redesigned to Peterborough 330. 330, sorry guys, still getting used to the, the new phone. So, and of course. The wing mirror is a bit bent. I don't know if that was me or whether that was the guy before. So it says Huddington and District on the side. Overall, the model's got some good detail. The paint job's quite good on it as well. Look, and I do like to collect the ones that aren't that good as well. Any bus model will do me. Um, so yeah, not much to say about the side. Still pretty cool. This model isn't in mint condition. Isn't in mint condition. Yeah, oh, speak of not being in mint condition, bloody back number plates coming off. <laughs> As you can see. Hmm. Got his old number plate underneath still. Revealing some mystery there, kind <laughs> I'm not going to take it off though. So P325 VWR. And it says 2.8 on the back of the original one. Uh, Volvo V10 badge. It's a nice detail. The back bumper's a bit like mine. It's missing out the black bit for the boot to open up. Unless this is a rear engine one, which I do believe it is. Or they might have not just put the engine detail on. There are the brake lights and reflectors which are the corners bumpers as you can see tail lights half and five both need some new ones plaxton badge which half and five never had same goes with the b10m badge and volvo but it did have plaxton and volvo on the front at holidays but i'm not going to put them back on because it never had them at bacon also says air conditioned and What's not on R405, but are on the two V regs, are the back indicators. Mine only has the brake lights. And also they, oh, they ain't painted them red, have they? Lol. They're just the rear marker lights, which I do need two new ones. You know, both of them have got a, they've got the scratches on, which I like to replace. Oh, fucking fine, um. And then here's the roof in all of its glory. Turning around to another side. Edmonton and District in there for some good detailing. As you can see, and this one don't have the middle door. Unlike my two, but my two middle doors don't work. And also, here's the original colour. I think, correct me if I'm wrong. And yeah, I'll just sh show you the bottom. Got a spare tire, and it's got posable wheels, as you can see. So yeah, pretty cool. Oh, squeaky. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's about it for this model. I'm not going to give it a rating, I like all my bus and coach and mini bus models. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for me, obviously. 
So yeah, this edit a review, this is just showing it off.